let's grab Gary's car, drive to Sanford, fight some blanks, kill some zombies, uncover a cult, stop at the Winchester, drink some tea, and wait for all this to blow over. Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Cornetto trilogy scenes. It doesn't have too many friends. Can I get any of you a drink? Anybody? Yeah. No, thank you. Before we begin, if you enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we've picked out the best bits from the Three Flavors Cornetto trilogy. Directed by Edgar Wright and starring Simon Pegg and Nick Frost, as well as others, these films are three of Britain's best-loved exports. Garden fences at the ready? Let's jump straight to it. By the power of Greyskull. Number 10, Sean Goes to the Shop, Sean of the Dead. Do you want anything from the shop? Cornetto. Sent out the door with Ed's iconic shopping list, our opening clip sees Sean visit the newsagent for a hangover cure. However, in a scene which perfectly parallels a previous trip to Nelson's, he's oblivious to every apocalyptic thing around him. Windscreens are smashed, the jogger is on steroids, there are dead people down garden paths, but all Sean cares about is his can of Diet Coke and the list of life goals he's pinned to the fridge. Nelson, why are you about 15p? Not even timely channel hopping alerts him to the obvious. As an increasing number of reports of serious attacks on people who are literally being eaten alive. Number nine, Nicholas is relocated, hot fuzz. Nicholas Angel is London's best Bobby, but that doesn't mean his job's secure. He's relocated in the opening moments of hot fuzz, forced out of the city and into the sticks. We're making you sergeant. I see. In Sanford, Gloucestershire. In where, sorry? In Sanford, Gloucestershire. Needless to say, he's not happy about it, and no matter how insincerely they ask after Angel's welfare, there's no disguising the smugness of Martin Freeman, Steve Coogan, and Bill Nye. Now, I know what you're going to say, but the fact is, you've been making us all look bad. Representing all levels of the Met Police, their farcical opinions are only backed up by the cake and streamers party waiting patiently outside. Well, however you spin this, there's one thing you haven't taken into account. And that's what the team is gonna make of this. Number eight, a bar fight with blanks, the world's end. Driven by Gary's ludicrously deluded love for Newton Haven's Golden Mile, the gang's well on their way to the world's end in this scene. Why don't you kids join me? You look like you could do with a drink. But blanks are everywhere by now, and just like with the twins from two pubs ago, they're forced to fight their way to the exits. Now, please. This Nick Frost's Andy finally sheds his yuppie threads to destroy Pierce Brosnan, while Peg's Gary is more concerned with keeping the contents of his glass. A pub scrap packed with slick cuts and stylish kills, it's classic Cornetto chaos. Okay, Andy. Break it up. Number seven, the Bloody Mary speech, Shaun of the Dead. A recurring gag throughout the series, Nick Frost's character always has a knack for knowing exactly what's about to unravel before it's even happened. That is nothing, man. This is about to go off. Just watch him watching action movies and hot fuzz. It's all there. But this speech in Shaun of the Dead is the trilogy's best example of plot prediction. Shaun's broken up with Liz, so Ed lays down a booze-filled plan to help his mate unwind. You know what we should do tomorrow? Keep drinking. We'll have a Bloody Mary first thing. I'll we'll bite the king's head, couple of the little princess, we'll stagger back in. I'm back at the bar for Sean. Only every aspect of it second guesses the zombie fight soon to start. Andy gets a laugh from Sean. Genius. <laughs> Number six, the model village fight, Hot Fuzz. Stay back! Or the ginger nut gets it! With the Neighbourhood Watch Alliance exposed as crazed killers, this scene sees Simon Pegg and Timothy Dalton take their fight to the miniature streets of Samford's model town. With the Hamlet's hopes for Village of the Year in ruins, the pair lay waste to its tiny replica. And Dalton Skinner falls victim to some rather painful irony, slipping on a Summerfield lorry. Special shout out to the cameos here too. That kid so deserves to be the first name in the phone book. And well done to that swan. Number five, the zombies in the garden, Shaun of the Dead. 
Any zombies out there? Don't say that. What? That. What? That. The Z word. Don't say it. Though Sean would rather we didn't use the Z word, our next clip gives invaluable insight as to which weapons work best against the undead. Cricket bats and shovels? Yes. Your cherished vinyl collection? Not so much. No, no, that's the second half I ever bought! No! As Sean and Ed flick through albums deciding which records can be flung, the walking corpses ominously advance. And don't forget, one's already sporting a sizeable stomach wound from an earlier encounter. That Sean mistook her cadaverous lunges for romantic advances is just plain hilarious. I think she wants a cuddle. <laughs> Isn't that I'm serious? I'm just coming out of a relationship. <laughs> <laughs> Do something! Wait there. Number four, the plan, Sean of the Dead. When facing a zombie apocalypse, someone needs to take control. So, what's the plan? Sean steps up for our next scene in which he debates the best bet for survival. Saving his mum and Liz is non-negotiable, and bashing his stepdad's head in is a definite, but where to hide out? Take car, go to mum's, kill Phil, sorry, grab Liz, go to the Winchester, have a nice cold pint, and wait for all this to blow over. Naturally, he settles on the pub, and Ed enthusiastically approves. The entire sequence is trademark Edgar Wright, with quick breaks, close-ups, and comic timing. It makes escaping the living dead look like a fun Friday night, almost. Yeah, boy! Number three, fighting in the gents' room, the world's end. What began as a simple pub crawl descends into madness when the guys hit their fourth bar and their robotic rivals reveal themselves. W T F. A grimy, greasy opening standoff. It's five versus five in the toilets. Hit the hand dryers, please. <laughs> As with all fights in this film, the kills are relentless and there's blue stuff everywhere. Whether Gary and co are pounding the walls, crashing cubicles, or wrestling appendages, or even elbow dropping like a pro, it's tough to find the relevant words, or acronyms here. Thanks, Peter. WTF, Gary. WTF. What the f does WTF mean? What the f Oh, yeah. Number two, the Sanford shootout, Hot Fuzz. Sergeant Angel's back in town. Morning. Swapping squad car for saddle, Peg goes all out action hero for this final battle, which sees Danny Butterfield live out his buddy cop dreams. That's what I'm talking about. From grannies with machine guns to reverends with a death wish, Sanford's packing plenty of heat, but there's still time for a few one liners. Just before Nicholas squares up to Skinner, the film gives us one final gory glimpse of Sanford's many murderous residents. They're no match for these two, though. They've seen the movies, they know what to do. You're a doctor. Deal with it. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> Danny, let's roll. What are you thinking? Pub? Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honourable mentions. Did you know that on several occasions, he touched me? Wasn't true. Made it up. Shouldn't have done. Sorry. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Number one, kill the queen, Shaun of the Dead. Despite Shaun's improbable predictions, the zombie invasion did not blow over. Instead, it broke into the Winchester, disemboweled David, infected Barbara, and left Shaun with a literal hole in the head. <laughs> But the highlight of this hellish hilarity comes when the fortress first falls, and the landlord appears with evil in his eyes. David, kill the queen! What's with the jukebox? With Freddie Mercury setting the tone, the gang rhythmically dispose of John with just a couple of pool cues and a rifle, which, by the way, is real. But let's not exacerbate things, hey? For the last time... I f***ing knew it! Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo UK and subscribe for more great content.